Katie throws a ball in the air for her dog to chase. The function f models the height of the ball in meters as a function of time in seconds after Katie threw it. And we could see that right over here. This is our function f. So at time t equals zero, the height looks like it's a couple of meters. And then as we go forward in time to a little under two and a half seconds, the ball's going up. And then after a little under two and a half seconds, the ball starts going down. And after, by the time you get to five seconds or close to five seconds, it looks like the ball is on the ground. Its height is zero meters. So then they ask us, which of these statements are true? Choose all that apply. So pause this video and see if you can work it out. All right, now let's look through the choices. So the first one says, Katie threw the ball from a height of five meters. So let's see if that bears fruit or see if that's true. So if she threw it from a height of five meters, that means that the y-intercept would have been at five meters. At time t equals zero, we would have been at a height of five meters. Clearly, that is not the y-intercept. It looks like she threw it from a height of maybe one and a half or two meters. So uh, I'm assuming that Katie is not five meters tall, so she wasn't on a ladder or anything. She just threw it from her regular height. And so we can rule out this first choice. The second one says, at its highest point, the ball was about 31 meters above the ground. Let's see if that is true. So the highest point is right over here. And yeah, that looks, that looks about 31 meters. So I like that choice. So I will select that one. The ball was in the air for about two and a half seconds. So we can clearly see that that is not, in, not the case. The ball was going up for about two and a half seconds, but then it was going down for roughly another two and a half seconds. And so it was actually in the air for almost five seconds. So I would, I would rule this one out. The ball reached its highest point in the air about two and a half seconds after Katie threw it. So let's see, after Katie, two and a half seconds after Katie threw the ball, it's right over there. It looks like it reached its highest point a little bit before that, but they said about, so they're speaking in rough terms. So I think that statement can be true. It's about, it's about two and a half seconds. If they said exactly two and a half seconds, I wouldn't have selected it because it seemed like it happened at like 2.45 seconds or something like that. But there you go, those are the ones that, uh, that seem true.